All right. <clears throat> Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rechakwadash, under double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to the Akim and to the elect that are scattered throughout the four corners of this earth, pushing the truth out in faith and in sincerity. All right, this is the brother uh, Shemai Allah, all right, from the Great Millstone Houston camp. All right, and this lesson is going to be titled Clark Kent. All right, now we all should know who Clark Kent is. All right, if you don't know, all right, if you watch Superman, or if you know of Superman, that Clark Kent is basically his disguise, right? That is who he is in his personal life, right? That is who he, you know, he, Clark Kent was the the regular uh, version of Superman, right? He had a a, a job, you know, and uh, that he went to all the time, you know. He was just a, you know, regular typical guy when he wasn't being Superman, right? And the thing is with that, you know, I was just, uh, that's relating it to the truth, right? That's how, you know, we have to be, you know, because the thing about Clark Kent, right, his his identity, right, or who he was, you know, that, that meant a lot to him, you know, it was precious unto him, and he didn't want to get out on who he was, right? Because if he would have, if everybody would have knew who he was, and he couldn't, he couldn't really just have no personal life, right? His personal life would have been destroyed. He couldn't have a a, a regular job, you know. All eyes would have been on him, right? He would have been a target, you know. And the people knew who he was, like let's say the villains that he was going up against, right? They 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 would know where to find him, you know. They would know who he is, right? Easy target. So, with us and this truth, right, we don't have to go around proclaiming that we are Hebrew Israelites, right? We don't got to start telling everybody everything, you know, that that we are into. That's not what you should be doing and it's not wise, right? You shouldn't just be running off at the mouth like that, you know? This is uh, Matthew 10 and 16. Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be ye therefore, it says, be ye, behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. Right, so sheep, they, they are not, <laughs> they are defenseless against wolves, right? A sheep, sheep are not vicious animals, you know? They're docile creatures, right? So, Yahweh Shai said he sent us as sheep, right, amongst wolves. So, we supposed to, you know, know how to maneuver, right? Because wolves will devour you. Wolves, the wolves are these people, right? The two thirds, you know, these heathen, right? They are the wolves, right? It says, "Be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves," right? So since we we don't have power here, right? So we can't attack nobody. We can't get carnal with nobody because Esau's blessing is the sword, right? And, you know, we're not supposed to be out here getting violent with people, right? So, we got to think. So, it says be wise as serpents, right? So, you got to be crafty, right? You can't just be just telling everybody, oh, yeah, I'm a Hebrew Israelite. You know, you wearing your, your fringes everywhere. You know, you got the, you wearing your shirt saying 12, 12 tribes of Israel, you know, on the back. Big Judah, <laughs> you know, you walk around Judah, you know, you don't got to, you don't got to do all that, bro. All right. You don't have to do that. 
that you save that for the highways and the byways and when you do your lessons. Yeah, that's 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 when you go all out. All right, fuck whoever sees it, they gonna see it. Right, but in your personal life, you shouldn't be trying to do that. Right, you gotta work. Right, you have to have a job. You have to go out amongst these people. You shouldn't make yourself an easy target. This is uh, Proverbs one and two. It says to know wisdom and instruction, to perceive the words of understanding, to receive the instruction of wisdom, justice and judgment and equity, to give subtlety to the simple, to the young man, knowledge and discretion. Right, subtlety to the to the simple, to the simple. Right, that craftiness. Right, just like with Clark Kent, didn't no, couldn't nobody suspect that he was Superman. They were treating this like he's just a regular dude. This dude was wearing glasses and a suit and all that. Right, going to going to work amongst regular people. Right, and this dude was basically a a damn god. Right, what the scripture say? Psalms eighty two and uh, six say that we are gods. Right, but did, could nobody really suspect that? He was doing all that. He was saving the world and all that shit, you know? He was keeping that he was keeping that concealed. You know, but you know, when you when you come into the truth, you know, you can't help it, right? At the beginning stages, right? It says that when you eat this 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 um let me get it real quick. Sweet bitter. Uh, right, this is Revelation 10 and 10. It says, And I took the little book, which is the scriptures, out of an angel's hand and ate it up. And, there was in, and it was in my mouth, sweet as honey. So when you find out this thing, right, it's just, it's it's, it's a it's a great feeling. I, re- I remember the feeling that I got, right, when I first uh, found out that I was an Israelite, right? I found out what tribe I belonged to, you know, Based off of my my lineage of my father, right about the promises and you know, Yahweh yeah, Shai being a so called black man, the Most High, all right being a so called black man, you know. That 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 was music, right? That's why the scriptures say that the truth is as a uh, a song, right? Cause that was music to my ears. I Man, that like nothing could compare unto that feeling, right? It was nothing that was just so sweet that could enter into your ears as much as this truth, right? But when you find out, you want to start telling everybody. You gonna want them to feel the same thing that you felt, right? But it's not gonna it's not gonna work like that. This truth is not for everybody. Everybody's not gonna accept it, right? It says. And he said unto me, take it up and eat it up and it shall make, well, Revelation 10 and 10. And I, and I took the little book out of an angel's hand and ate it up and it was in my mouth sweet as honey. And as soon as I had eaten it, my belly was bitter, right? So that bitter part, when you start, you start suffering, you start seeing things for what it actually is, Right? You're going to start just going through shit, man. You're going to start saying, like, man, this this truth ain't, you know, for everybody, right? You're going to start trying to tell people, and you're going to start, you know, you're not going to get the, the 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 effect that you want out of people, all right, the, re- the results, right? They're going to look at you crazy as hell, like, what this dude is talking about, all right? You know, it's just going to be a lot of tribulation, right? That's 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 that that's that bitterness, you know. But you can't help it when you first come in, right? But this is um Matthew seven and six, right? But you 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 learn not to just tell any and everybody, you know, about this truth, right? About this 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 precious knowledge, right? It's not just supposed to be just given to everybody. Right, they have they have to be chosen to get this. This is John, fifteen, 
and 16, ye have not chosen me, but I have but I have chosen you and ordained you that you should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain, that whatsoever you shall ask of the Father in my name, he may give it to you. Right? So how should I say you have not chosen me, but I have chosen you? Right? So we didn't choose this knowledge. Right, we didn't choose to be prophets, right? But Yahweh Bashim Yahshua chose us and it came to us and he pulled us out of the world. Right? And he had to do the same for everybody else of the elect. Right? He has to choose them and bring them out of the world. There ain't nothing that we can do about it. Right? We we just vessels. But it's Matthew seven and six. Give not that which is holy unto the dogs, neither cast ye your pearls before a swine. Right, what's what's what is this holy? What is the pearls that's talking about this truth? This truth is holy. This 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 truth is the pearls, right? This is something precious. Right? Give not it says, give not that which is holy unto the dogs, neither catch you your pearls before a swine. The people that it's not meant for. The people that are just so caught up in this world, they can't accept this, right? They will never accept it. They are blinded, their minds are blinded, right? Especially the heathen, right? Because this ain't even for them, right? Even though you have all people amongst them that look like them, but the the the, the heathen, like, based on your father's lineage, you ain't of the, the nation of Israel, you are heathen, right? It ain't for them, right? But you're not supposed to be casting your pearls or giving that which is holy unto these people because it's not meant for them, right? It says, lest they trample them under their feet and turn again and run to you, right? So... It's not going to turn out good. You know, it's not going to turn out good. Like when I first came in, man, I I wanted to tell all my friends and, you know, my mama, this and that. And I wish I would have never done that. Right? I wish I never done that. You know, but it was all a learning experience. Right? Yeah, that's just, that's just a, a little advice. Like, when you, you don't have to... Yeah, because I remember... The, uh, this this uh this kid, uh this dude right, I ain't gonna put his name out there you know but, you know. His, mother I told him to take out the trash. And he was like you know, nah it's the it's the Sabbath, I'm not doing that. That's not wise at all, bro. That is not wise, right. Saying that it's the Sabbath, you're not gonna if you, you live under her roof, you gotta you gotta abide by the rules. You can't just be you can't do that. Right? What what is the Sabbath to her? She's not in the she's not in the truth. She don't look at it how you look at it. That's why the scripture say you gotta be wise as serpents. I used to try to do I used to, you know, you try to just make it just blatantly known that you are Israelite. My mama cook pork. Oh, why you why you why you cooking that? You know, you know I don't I don't eat that. I'm an Israelite. Like you don't you don't gotta you don't gotta do all of that. Just be be who you are, right? In this world. Right? Don't 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 have the same ways, but just keep that disguise. Be an Israelite all right, secretly amongst these people. Still follow the laws, that's your commandments to the best of your ability. Judges 5 and 11 say we rehearse in righteous acts. Do that, but you don't got to do that out in, in, in the open for everybody to see. Like, just making it known. You know? This is Sirach 8 and 18. It says, Do no secret thing before a stranger, for thou knowest not what he will bring forth. Open not thine heart to every man. Let she requ requit thee with a shrewd turn. Right, shrewd just means evil. Right, it said do no secret thing before a stranger. Right, so you you shouldn't be trying to just be so open to showing somebody. Oh yeah, bro, you know this scripture right here. Yeah, this means this and that. You know, uh, Babylon the Great. You see Babylon the Great right here. You know this 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 is America, bro. You ain't chill, and you telling him America gonna be destroyed. Right, it says. Do no secret thing before a stranger, for thou knowest what he will bring forth. Yeah, you tell him all this stuff, he like, oh, okay. And he goes straight in the, in the damn supervisor or the manager office saying, oh, yeah, he he just told me this and that. He believed this and that. And now, 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 now you in trouble. 
when you didn't have to say that. Right? You don't know what's going to happen. You should you should chill. Save all of that for the highways and the byways. And for when you do your videos. That's it. Be Clark Kent. Be you. Whatever your whatever your, your government name may be. That's your disguise. That's that's who you should be. It says, open not thine heart to every man, lest he requit thee with a shrewd turn. Yeah, you should, don't stop. Don't be casting your pearl before swine. Right? Don't, don't, don't be just telling, you know, all, all your thoughts like that. Right? You're supposed to be keeping this within. This is Proverbs. Let me see. A fool uttered all his mind, but a wise man keepeth it in till afterwards. Right? A fool uttered all his mind. Right? Because in your mind, you think you, you in your mind you think, okay, yeah, this place is gonna be destroyed. The Esau gonna die. These heathen gonna go into slavery and all that. Now you are just telling everybody that you encounter all of these things. You make yourself like a fool. People gonna be looking at you like, man, what's up with this dude, man? This dude ain't right. Now you, you, it's a target on you. Now, now, now you, you blowing your cover. They, they see something by Hebrew Israelites on the news, and they saying they believe this and that. And they go, oh, I work with a dude that, th that they be thinking, yeah, he be talking about that same stuff. But if you would have never even said nothing, they wouldn't be able to point you out. You know, but you, you know your cover was just blown. You let you letting everybody know what you about. But said wise man, keep it there until after, afterwards. Why? Right? Because you'll know that hey, it ain't even worth it. Let let these people in the world have it. You ain't got to be going to work condemning nobody, right? You in a restaurant and you see a Jake. He 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 finna eat him some pork or something. You know he got him some bacon. And you're like, hey, bro, you know you ain't supposed to do that, right? You supposed to be keeping the command, bro. Hey, man, let these man, hey, let these people have it, bro. That is not needed. This is James, three, and five. Even so, the tongue is a little member and boasts of great things. Behold, our great a matter, a little fire candle, right? Your tongue could get you in so much trouble if you don't control it. You got to learn how to watch what you say around these people. Around these heathen and these two thirds, watch what you say, cause they listening. You say the wrong thing, they're not gonna forget it, right? It's gonna it's gonna come back and bite you in the ass. You no, know, so just control yourself. But just like it can get you in trouble, you know, it can get you out of trouble, right? You could learn how to be be crafty with your speech. You don't have to speak all your mind, right? It's cause what you what you feel within. You don't have to show that at work, right? This is Psalms uh, 55 and 21, right? We were talking with a uh, with a brother in the camp about this scripture, right? He brought this point up to us. This is Psalm 55 and 21. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet they were drawing swords. And this is going to Esau, right? He was being de deceptive, right? Deceptive in nature. He... In his mind, he thinking something evil was fucked, but with his words, you wouldn't you wouldn't be able to tell. You wouldn't be able to tell what he really about, what he really wants. All right, the person that he actually is, based off of what he is saying. That's the same thing. That's how that's how we gotta be in righteousness. We can't just utter everything that's on our mind. Yeah, we, yeah, we hate Esau. Yeah, we hate these other nations, right? Yeah, we hate the um the nigga woman. Right, but you can't just go around everywhere, you know, around um, Babylon, you know, in America, just proclaiming these things. You all on social media saying this shit, you know. You going every every black woman you see, you like, oh, hey, you know, yeah, you ain't you ain't right, you know, you ain't you ain't you ain't got to do that. You just smile, people face. You just smile. Hey, how you doing? Speak, you know, just be regular you. That's it. Just be regular you. But inwardly, in your mind, you want to kill these motherfuckers. 
you know, you hate them, right? I won't say kill, but, you know, because, you know, we're not going to do a damn thing, right? Because we don't get violent. But anyway, you hate, you hate, you hate these motherfuckers, man. You don't want to be here. This place is full of wickedness, you know? But you don't got to show that. Right, you don't have to. You don't. You don't have to show what you what you, what you truly about amongst these people. Fuck them. This is Proverbs twenty seven and twelve. Yeah, and and when the brother spoke to us about that, he's like, you basically showing your hand. You going to work, and you just mugging Esau. You know, you just just mad at him. Just 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 look at him. He noticed you. He see you. He just like, man, this 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 dude hate me. But then now, now you going that might end, you might end up getting let go because of that. And you see Esau, man, hey, what's up? You know, you whatever, you know, smile, whatever. Then go on, go on about your business, right? Just be a serpent in righteousness. Proverbs twenty seven and twelve: A prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself, but the simple pass on and are punished, right? A prudent man will, will will think about what he's about to say and think about the consequences that might happen, right? If he if he say a certain thing, if he tells a person uh, a certain thing, right, and he will avoid it. But the simple say pass on and are punished, right? You gonna regret, you know, uttering everything that's on your damn mind. You know, this is why Proverbs said to give subtlety to the simple. You know, so the whole point of this lesson is be Clark Kent. Be you. When it was time for Clark Kent to go to work, he went to work. He, he wasn't telling nobody he was Superman. He wasn't in there flexing on no motherfucking body. He wasn't in there putting niggas in headlocks, right? Knocking niggas out the building. He was a regular guy. But when it was time for him to be Superman, right? He let he let all that power show. He wouldn't hide nothing, right? That's the same. That's the same way we gotta be. When it's time to use it, that's when we use it, right? And we we, I'm not saying that, you know, in in, in your personal life, you're not you're not using this wisdom and everything that you do. You're not keeping the law, statutes, and commandments, right? But you, like I said, you're not just pro- proclaiming it to everybody, right? You ain't just out yelling at people, you know, telling them they're going to be destroyed. They ain't keeping the commandments. No, nah, just say that for the highways and the byways when it's time to flex that power. You know? So with that, we give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Shai, Bahashem, Rechakadash. Devil honors to the apostles, elders of the great millstone, peace and salutation to the Akim, to the elect, that are scattered throughout the four corners of this earth, pushing the truth, faith, and sincerity. Shalom.